good people welcome back to my channel fabulous Bree here if you are new welcome 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 if you are returning hey girl what's up we still on this natural hair journey or whatever so in today's video i decided to do it vlog style because i'm getting ready to do um a protein treatment on my hair so i still i'm running all into my lights and stuff <laughs> um i have some afro g products that i still got that i haven't really used before it's like a two-step protein treatment so i'm gonna do basically what is called a pre-poo but i'm just going to kind of go ahead and detangle at the um protein treatment or maybe the, the deep conditioner i don't know something sit on my head for like 30 minutes or so before i actually go in and wash my hair and stab my wash and go again because yeah it's been about a good week i shouldn't have probably a little bit over a week <laughs> yeah i probably shouldn't have never did that because i know my hair is about to be very very tangled so yeah because my hair gets really really tangly when i wear it natural so yeah let me go ahead and try to find these products so we can get started on doing the pre poop doing the protein treatment basically so keep watching girl just keep watching Ooh, okay so now i'm in my other bathroom which is I kind of call it my boyfriend bathroom because he's always in here. But um, the storage in here is like a lot more, you know. I would show you what it looked like under here, but you're going to be like, girl, what the fuck? You know. So now I'm just about to go through my kits that I have under here. I have like, I have like six Tupperware things under here. Full of hair products. Don't know why. Probably don't even need half of this stuff, but it's like stuff for when I wear wigs. Well, you know, I'm giving wigs a break right now. So I have a bin for wig products glues hairsprays all that stuff then the rest of it natural hair products <laughs> like what the fuck but anyways let me let me try to find Ow. oh man that was fairly easy i didn't have to freaking all right didn't have to do that much looking and digging i forgot about this y'all i do not come on focus why aren't why aren't you focusing on me girl okay it's being weird come on man you about to really do this to me right now damn i'm so mad right now why don't you want to focus you stupid camera there we go god go all right <laughs> So we're back in my bathroom because I have better lighting in here. As you saw in the other one, it was more so yellow. We gotta change those light bulbs out, by the way. But this is what we're gonna be working with right here. This is the FOG two-step thingy thing. So first when you do the strengthening treatment and then you go in with the second one. I kind of forgot how to go about it because it's been a while since I even have to do a freaking protein treatment because you know if you've been following me all I did was wear my natural hair. I didn't really do much different but then I got introduced to wigs. <laughs> so yeah I'm just obsessed with wearing wigs and that kind of turned me into not wanting to wear my natural hair no more and then after not really wanting to wear wigs this much and i saw how long my hair got i started flat ironing my hair like crazy and then i was thinking like oh let me go ahead and try to be a straight natural you know what i'm saying like i don't care i'm gonna just you know be a straight natural i don't care about the heat damage now i'm like I'm like, what the freak? Why did I even think to do that? Because I started looking at older pictures of myself with my natural hair and I was just kind of like, what is wrong with me? Like, why do I want to not wear my natural curls? They're, they're the bomb. And then my hair done got longer, so I know my curls done got longer, which they have, but I do have severe heat damage. Put a clip of that right here, as you can see. So I asked you guys, hey, could you recommend some stuff for me? It's been a while since I've done some natural hair stuff. I know it's been like a ton of new products that's been coming out for natural hair. So y'all just let me know what y'all rocking with, what, you, what helps for you, what you think will help for me. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you guys recommended a lot of stuff, but a lot of y'all were saying the Apple G two-step treatment, the Apple G two-step treatment. And I'm like, I got some of that under my counter that I've been having for like a minute. Hopefully it still works, but I haven't opened it or any, like I took, the, took it out the pack, but I haven't used it at all. So so I'm like, will it even still work? You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna use it because I have not used this. So we gonna see. So I'm gonna sit y'all up so you can watch me go through the pre-poo stage, I guess. And then we're gonna wash up. But I'm probably not gonna show myself washing my hair. Maybe I should, I don't know. I might, just, just keep watching. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, so now I'm about to go ahead. Sorry if the audio isn't as best because I'm using my vlogging camera for this. Yeah, now I'm about to go in with my pre poo You wanna make sure you have a detangling brush, which I'm probably just gonna, why is it not in this drawer? I'm just gonna use a paddle brush, or you know what, no, I'm gonna use my detangling brush that I use in my shower, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna use my detangling brush. I really like it because as you comb, it kind of like spreads apart so it doesn't really like snatch. I need to rinse it off because I got like product in there from when I washed my hair the last time. <laughs> but I like how it spreads open when you're detangling so it's not really snagging or ripping out your hair. So that is a plus. This is from Evolve Beauty. Um, They sent me a care package last year. So not even last year, like 2019, before the new year started of like some really good goodies. They sent me a bunny cap, an edge brush, the tangling brush some hair ties and like something else i can't remember but it was a nice little pack and i was like oh my god this was came right in time because i needed a new detangling brush because my demon brush i don't really like using it as much so but anyway back to what i was saying you want to get a spray bottle i got this off of amazon if you guys uh want to try out the same thing even with this i have this tag down below in my amazon storefront so just check out the links in the description box to my beauty pack and it'll take you straight to all the products that i'm currently obsessing over with or currently using right now so yeah from lashes hair products whatever wig stuff if you're into wigs i got my wigs link down there all this stuff. but anyways i lost my train of thought <laughs> let me take down my hair because i can't think right now Ooh. as you can see my hair is like blah and you see the heat damage right here it's just pure straight. It's not, it's no nothing to it. And I don't want to cut my hair or anything, whatever the case may be. I was thinking about just only maybe cutting some bangs or whatever so I can have like a little bang effect, but I feel like that'll look so ugly right now because my curls are like super long. But anyways, I feel like I got this up too high and I gotta go like, <laughs> okay, that's actually better. So I did need to bring it down. We're gonna section this off into four sections because I feel like that's gonna be your best bet when you're trying to, and we, I don't even know why I pulled out a comb. Your parts don't have to be straight. I feel like this would be your best bet when you're trying to detangle and just do all of that before actually getting in to wash your hair. This will also help with cutting down time with washing your hair in the shower. Um, The detangling process will be a lot less. So doing a some type of pre-poo, it doesn't have to be a protein treatment or whatever the case may be. It can be like a deep condition you leave in overnight before the day you wash your hair or 30 minutes before you might want to do some type of moisturizing to it or, just a, or you just want to detangle it. You could just, you know, part it into four, detangle it, sit around for a second, then wash your hair. It'll cut down so much time in the shower. If you're someone like me, if your hair is like mine, it gets tangly really, really bad. You want to kind of like take your time when splitting your hair apart or parting your hair. And if you feel any kind of knots or anything, just kind of gently just spread it apart, you know? Let me know if you guys like this vlog style and I'll keep doing vlog style type of videos. Or if not, I can go back to my regular setup where I'm sitting against the wall or whatever. Or I can just do it to where I have like a nice background setup, you know? So just let me know. I'm just trying to do things that you guys like to see, you know, it's aesthetic wise. <laughs> we are going to be using this system right here. So let's, Let's read the back of it, see what we're working with. So step one, this is the hair strengthening kit. Step one, repair and strengthen. Okay, dispense a small amount of product into palm and work throughout clean towel dried hair. For best results, cover with a plastic cap. No dryer needed, leave it on for five to 10 minutes. For thicker, coarser hair product will dry and thicken, bonding into areas of damage, rinse excess. So you tell me I gotta wash my hair first? What the freak? I'm not trying, I'm trying to do a pre-poo. I thought this would be good for apply product evenly through hair, leave on for one minute to allow penetration of moisturized vitamins and botanical extracts. Rinse through it through the warmth and cool water, dry down usual. Bro, what the freak? <laughs> huh? I didn't want to wash my hair first. Like, Maybe we'll have to do this after we wash our hair. So you know what? We're gonna we still gonna do this, but maybe I will have to show you guys show y'all while I'm in the shower washing my hair. Okay, we're gonna put this inside. 
So we're gonna wash our hair first, put that in, let it sit in for five minutes, rinse it out, then put this in, leave in for one to two minutes, and then rinse, and then style hair. <laughs> one second, I'm gonna find like a deep conditioner right quick, I guess. We're gonna just like, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I think I am gonna use this Weeda Extreme Repair Mask as my pre-poo so we can like, you know, let it sit, let it kind of nourish or whatever. Cause this is like, this is supposed to repair damaged textures. Hold on, let me open this cause, ooh, it smells good. I haven't used this, look at that, since I had color in my hair, that's crazy. Anyways, we're gonna use that because that's what I got right now. I don't feel like going to the hair store. You can already see my hair like, girl, what the freak? I'm gonna start by detangling from my ends first because that always seems to help a lot. If you have really tangly hair, starting at your ends and working up will be your best bet for real, for real. If you try to start from your roots, you're gonna rip out all of your hair, basically. And with me, when detangling my hair, it definitely, definitely takes a long time for me to detangle it. Especially when I get up to the roots, honey. Ooh, she be acting like gay. All right, and once, like, after your brush feels like it, it can brush through smoothly, then you're kind of done with detangling. Now you can go ahead and apply whatever mask you want to wear or whatever whatever you're trying to do as far as uh, pre-pulling, hair growth, whatever. I'm going to, to take this hair mask. I'm just going to work it through. All right, so now that I got that worked through, I am gonna go back in with my brush and brush it through. All right, so I'm actually going to switch over to voiceover now, pretty much for the remainder of this video because for some reason my audio started to act really weird with this video. I gotta get a new vlog vlogging camera because this one is definitely old and it's messed up. It's been dropped so many times. <laughs> but anyways, here I'm just kind of speeding up the process because um, it's pretty much the same steps that I was explaining before. You wanna kind of wet down your hair, put in the um, conditioner or deep conditioner that you wanna use to kind of help repair your hair and just, you know, put it all through the tangly brush again so it's smooth all the way through. And I ended up putting my hair in two strand twists to just get everything out of the way. Now I'm just taking my Jamaican black castor oil and I'm just using that to kind of really oil my scalp really, really good, like going in between the hair and just down the parted parts that I have um, for, this four, for these four sections. So um, yeah, that's pretty much how I, how I like to do my pre-poos. I like to get some kind of repair system or some kind of deep conditioner and do that before actually washing my hair because it definitely helps with detangling my hair so much better. And it cuts down on time in the shower if you're someone like me that likes to wash their hair when they're in the shower. So as you can see, it kind of, it kind of helped a little bit. I know I need some work still, but you know, this is a journey, we're starting it. But here I'm just showing you what I actually use to wash my hair. As you saw, I used the FOG balancing treatment, moisturizing treatment. And um, I put that all over, let it sit for like a couple of minutes. And then I rinsed it out and washed it out with the coconut co-wash by As I Am. So now I am getting ready to style my hair. So I am doing my Old Faithful Lock Method. I am first going in with Lovely Bee's Leave It, Leave it Be Leave-In Conditioner first. And then after doing the leave-in conditioner, I go in with the Melly Organic, um, no, not the Melly Organic, the Cur Curl La La Cream. I didn't show that at first. And then after the Curl La La Cream, um, I go in with the Melly Organic Styling Gel. And that is just to lock everything in place. So as you can see, it pretty much defined my curls. It's looking really, really good. And yeah, my curls is looking really good. So <laughs> now it's time for me to do the same thing I did on that side for the other side. So I'm gonna do that off camera. So here, this is what I'm looking like. I ended up styling my edges because we are doing a side part wash and go this time. Um, the side part kinda gotta grow on me again because my hair is much longer and my curls is much longer. And also I have a little heat damage. So it's definitely like making my curls longer than what they need to be. 
but I think I may just stick with middle part wash and goes. But yeah, I just wanted to show the process or show it first before it actually fully air dry. So this is with it fully dry, you guys. This is pretty much the next day too. Um, I actually do like the results how it came out, but as you can see, I still got a long way to go. As you see some of the straight pieces up there, but it doesn't look as bad from the previous video. So definitely check out the previous one if you wanna see that um, treatment that I used. But here, yeah, this is the final result for my side part wash and go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Fab Family if you have not subscribed. And like I always say, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.